This satellite image shows a massive plume of dust getting blown off the coast of Africa on Friday. A flowing section of the atmosphere called the Saharan Air Layer rips the desert sand off the ground every year between mid-June and mid-August. I was astounded by the amount of dust that we saw in, in this particular case. Steve Miller is a research scientist with NOAA's Cooperative Institute at Colorado State University. Satellite analysis is his specialty and he monitors the Saharan Air Layer daily during hurricane season. He says big dust plumes like this one can stop hurricanes in their tracks. They have this effect of warming the air, uh, being associated with dry air, and having strong winds. And those are all really bad news for tropical cyclones in terms of uh, their formation and intensification. This dust bloom has already arrived in the Caribbean, seen from satellite covering Jamaica and other island nations. The computer forecast model shows the Saharan dust reaching the Gulf states by Wednesday, and a faint layer may be seen in southeastern Colorado. There will likely be just low impact here, but Miller says it will create poor air quality for some in the southern states, along with lower visibility. And also, there's been some studies about how these uh, these little microbes and bacteria can hitch a ride across the Atlantic as almost like stowaways on these dust particles and, and float across. And, and when we breathe those things in, of course, then that's another concern for health. While this dust layer means a low probability for hurricane formation in the open Atlantic for now, Miller says there is no way to tell if a long lasting dust pattern will emerge and bust the forecast for an above average hurricane season. Meteorologist Corey Repenhagen, 9 News.